Good day, ladies and gentlemen. We again received great entries for the sixth annual The Dairy Mail Innovation Awards, and the four finalists stem from some very reputable names. The Dairy Mail 2020 Innovation Awards recognize and celebrate the innovative and cutting edge products that were launched in the South African dairy industry over the past year. The entrants were judged on profitability, practicality, creativity, and true innovation, and the judges had an interesting time given the climate in which the judging took place and the collective wisdom and experience of the mix of entrants. A heartfelt thank you to our judges, Dr. Heinz Meissner, representing Milk SA, Stefan Stein, representing the South African Society of Dairy Technology, and Dr. Chris van Dijk, representing the Milk Producers Organization. To all the businesses who entered, thank you for sharing your vision and story with us. Against all odds, the dairy industry continues to show up. It is a commendable feat, given the extraordinary backdrop of 2020. And now, the moment that we have all been waiting for. The third runner-up of the Dairy Mail 2020 Innovation Awards is Communique with Excelite, entered by Alex Jenkins. To use Exalite, simply add to the cow's feed during the last two weeks of the dry period. Exalite binds calcium from the feed, inhibiting calcium absorption and triggering the cow's natural hormonal system. This in turn activates her ability to mobilize calcium from her bones and maintain a sufficient calcium level at calving, at which time Exalite is simply removed from the feed. The results are impressive, with Exalite achieving 85% efficiency in practical farming environments without any negative side effects. We believe that Exalite offers the best solution for transitioning cows in both terms of productivity and animal welfare. Benefits include much smoother and faster calvings, lower rates of metabolic diseases, higher milk yields, a higher lifetime performance, and stronger bottom lines. Hi, uh, Nigel Brock. I'm from Montana in Tasmania and we're milking 800 cows here on 200 hectares. Uh, I, I guess I first started dairying in 1990 and in those days we had around 180 cows and since that time and, and definitely since 2008 we've expanded to, out to 800 cows and of course that has brought with it a lot of changes, uh, especially as far as calving is concerned. Uh, I think uh, what we were seeing or starting to see was a lot of milk fever cases. Uh, we were calving in, in very wet, cold conditions and the cows were suffering and we were sort of getting up to 25% of the herd with uh, milk fever, clinical milk fever and, and of course all the subclinical milk fever that goes with that. Uh, so here a couple of years ago I was introduced to Steve Howland and he introduced me to the Excellent product and uh, that product certainly has uh, significantly changed our, our, our milk fever cases. So since we started using Excellent uh, we've seen a massive reduction in the number of clinical milk fever cases. Uh, I think last year there was 40 odd cases of milk fever, this year there was uh, two which was uh, extremely impressive uh, after the year before where we sort of trialled half the herd on, on the product and, and half not and we certainly saw an instant result from using Excellent. So that was uh, very impressive. Since using the Excellent product and seeing the results that we got this season, I, I definitely uh, would be using the product again. You know, it's a product that's easily administered to the cows uh, through, the, through the dairy and uh, very simple to use. Uh, it certainly has, has a proven track record here. We, uh, through the trial uh, two seasons ago and last year's results, certainly, uh, certainly we'll be having another, uh, another go with it because it, it, it is good value for money.
The second runner-up for the Dairy Mail 2020 Innovation Awards is Woodlands Dairy for First Choice Kick, entered by Marisa Makaferi. See you hustle. I see you hustle hard. Not everyone is as motivated as you. Not everyone is so committed. Committed to going out and hustling hard for what you want. It lies deep within you and me to want more from life. It's okay to need something extra to get you there. Sometimes you just need something more to help you hustle harder and that's okay. Because sometimes that extra boost of confidence is necessary to help you go out again and try something else. When you and I need that boost, we choose Kick, the milk-based energy drink that helps you go out and get it, that helps you milk the opportunities that you grab. So, that chance you are going to take, what are you waiting for? Kick, go oh, get it. The first runner-up for the Dairy Mail 2020 Innovation Awards is Lanswood Holdings for Lanswood Cheese, Cheese Melts, entered by Shamila Sali. And the winner for the Dairy Mail 2020 Innovation Awards is Zoetis South Africa for Clarified Plus, entered by Barry van Houten. Congratulations to you all. The decisions that the Clarified Test allows us to make is really, it's limitless. I don't know that I could dairy without it. And now with Clarified Plus, having some of these wellness traits, it's really allowing us to make even more informed, better decisions, and really excel the herd to a level that we previously would not have been able to do at this rate. We've been testing for five years now, so we have a lot of data on our animals. We've really looked at longevity in the herd and productive life. Total milk production, fat and protein were things we were looking at. We put a huge emphasis on DPR. We're just scratching the surface now with the Clarified Plus, looking at specific diseases or illnesses that cows could have and what the genetic transfer is of that. So do certain cows transfer that more than others? And we can make decisions once we know that. We're actually making culling decisions as early as three months of age. You can save a lot of time and money if you make that decision much earlier on. So back in 2012 when we started testing, we had about 45% of our animals were in their first lactation. We also had about a 42% coal rate and we didn't do a very good job of keeping animals in the herd very long. Today, the, the layout of the herd is much different where 55% of our lactating animals are in their third lactation or older. We're running about a 27% coal rate. Things that we're very, very happy with when we sit down and talk with someone like our banker. So now with Clarified Plus, we have wellness traits. It is going to really help us continue that goal toward a very strong, healthy dairy cow. Now we're gonna see cows that have good longevity and very strong healthy traits that are important in our business. If you select for the wellness traits and these animals just come right into your milking operation and 
in a way go unnoticed because they're just doing what they're supposed to do every day, that's the ideal scenario. The story of sustainability for dairy farmers, I think has gone on for a long time, but now we're really gonna be able to springboard and take a, a big step forward. Our carbon footprint has been reduced. We have 500 less animals here, but we're producing the same amount of product. That stretches all the way down from the crops that we're growing. We're stretching the amount of land that we farm that much farther. We're purchasing less feed from outside sources that would need to be trucked in. We were shipping close to the same amount of milk we're shipping today, but our feed cost was hundreds of thousands of dollars more than it is now. It makes perfect sense as to why we continue to use Clarified. When I think about the future for Clarified and Clarified Plus testing, we're learning that certain animals produce milk a certain way or produce certain types of protein. That will allow us to maybe segregate animals that are producing a particular type of protein that does well for our cheese making operation and will allow us a further point of differentiation in the marketplace. The ability for us as an industry and us as Fiscalini Farms to show consumers the work that we're doing when it comes to genetics, when it comes to sustainability, it's a full circle uh, victory for the industry.